Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Shadowrun Hong Kong. We are going to go claim some money and then I want to look at how many missions are left. Because that's important. How many missions left means how many karma, how much karma is left. Which of course, you know, is important for planning or what we do with our karma. Uh, I shall claim payment, please. Appreciate your conviction, sticking with the job. Despite the complications involved, you definitely earn some money on this job. Only a thousand though, apparently. He's cheaper than the other guy and he, apparently you get more money out of uh, not giving it to either of them. But you know what? Give my word it too, that's what I thought. Alright, so, give me a second would like to show you something uh, with the amount of karma we gain which is approximately eight per mission we just got let's say drone control seven next mission we get drone combat seven and then we get one more shot of about eight karma where do I put it even if I put it in intelligence is it really gonna do that much for me I don't know I can't get drone control eight I won't have the karma for it, I'm pretty sure. So I'm not sure I want to. Using decking or rigging to calculate a change the hit with computer programs. Yeah, well, I don't really uh, care that much. See? So I'm thinking I'm gonna do these two. Drone Combat 7 for Drones Class S, of course. And then... Uh, more damage and accuracy, of course. I'm gonna miss two dodging, plus two AP, damn. Uh, I'm gonna miss the, that. I think though, yeah, you have plus one AP here. I don't think it's plus two, it's just plus one over what I have currently. We're gonna be fine without it. I mean, I think this is important. 10% accuracy and four damage is important. So yeah, get this, get this, and then I think I'm gonna put put the rest into body. Just dump it all there. See what happens. 3,500. I forget if that's enough to actually get a drone class S. To replace the hover drone I have with the full auto one. Yeah. Hi. Anything to say about things? We're a complete shit show. I thought that kindly was supposed to vet our clients and make sure this kind of thing doesn't happen. I didn't mind the client very much, but whatever. Yeah, it's part of her job. Here with her. Oh, come on, Yanya. If she hadn't dropped the ball, none of this would have happened. I won't say that to her in person, of course, but this is, this is on her, not us. I didn't care. Tigeth was our client, I get that, but I wish that we could have given the bastard what was coming to him. It still feels like I got a knife in my back, letting that go unpunished is a damn shame. I don't feel like I... I just... I don't care about why. Gives, I don't care why they care so much about it. I honestly don't, especially since it's not even that terrible. I just don't care. Hey, is got something? Do I? No, I didn't think so. The option is still there, though, so maybe she's going to have something eventually. Any thoughts? I hate to be a downer over that mission, but I'm starting to wonder if Kindly Cheng is sleeping a little. The entire reason we give her a cut is to make sure the people that hire us don't have ulterior motives and won't screw us over. Kindly drop the ball now, one hard. He didn't screw us over, that's my point! <sighs> at least she won't be pissed at us for scrubbing the job. I mean, we finished it to the letter. And got a crappy payday out of it too. I hope Kindly's happy because I'm sure not. Well, I'm not happy about the payday, but I can know that beforehand. We ever get put in a situation like that again? I say we take the data and run. Fence it ourselves. There's just too much risk for not enough reward otherwise. Anything else you wanted to know? No. Nah. No, but you're right. That was actually the right call if you want the maximum out of it. You get one more karma and like 600 more yen. Which is a lot. Hey, yeah, did you need something? Oh, hey, there's that too. 
It's good. I mean, probably not like morally good, but I think I can use it. What does it do? Well, it's kind of like a grenade. When I throw it, it goes boom. Not out here in the real world, but in the astral plane. It's pretty impressive. As for what it actually does, it scares the shit out of anyone who gets caught in the blast. Makes them act like idiots. They run around with their hands in the air, forget about who's shooting at them, stand around with their fingers in the ears. Handy, yeah? Sounds great. Zombie came from right, I'm pretty sure that the dancing rodents in my vision are a pretty good indicator. So, uh, here's the thing, when I use this thing, what I think I'm, go I'm doing is opening a bunch of temporary cracks in the astral plane. Just little ones, only one enough for the sounds to pass through. People in the blast radius can hear things on the other side. So let's say that I throw the sucker at someone and it goes off. Boom! All of a sudden, a poor slob can hear the things that got into Malvina shrieking in his brain. That sounds unpleasant. Very much so. Yeah, it's a bad time for them. All those voices at once yelling, babbling, cursing, doing the rat king thing. It doesn't drive you nuts, right? That's basically what it does. It drives people mad, makes them work against their own self-interest. It's like a temporary insanity in the pebble form. I'd be wary of something coming from the shiny object. Hey, yeah, you right gave it to me. I think that'll be that I'll be okay. Now here's the best part, after I use one of these and go to bed, I'll find another one in my hand the next morning. I've tried it a couple of times now, it keeps- Really? Who do you toss that to? I've tried it a couple of times now, it keeps happening. Toss, explode, nap, visions, and dancing rats, and ta-da, new magic pebble. It's amazing. Using this feels right in the way that the shiny object never did. I think that it's rats were what for me to me for taking Malvina down or something. I don't know exactly. I've never heard of this happening to anyone before. Anyway, it should help us moving forward. And considering what we've headed up against next, I think we can use all the hell we can get. Oh, true that. Although usually I need you for other things. And you're usually out of throwing range. But who knows? Right, so we've got finally got back on track. Any other lessons? Nah, Seattle, no more lessons. You don't need them. You're as much a runner as I am now. There might even be a thing or two that I can learn from you. Oh, that can wait, though. We've got this whole situation with the wall set and your faster damn gun shown all that to take care of. It's kind of a mouthful. Lots of players involved. Tons of intrigue. Honestly, I'm thrilled by the whole thing. Can't wait to see how it turns out. This is not a soap opera, Garbit. I mean... Okay, for us real life peoples, sure, maybe a little. For her, it really shouldn't be. <laughs> I just wanted to be over. And miss out on all this fun, never, uh, in Seattle. Yeah. The pot on the hot plate, it's always full. I keep a soup going on that thing 24 7. If you ever want any, you're welcome. Just come on in. I'd love the company. Leave him off, the jingle might skip folly. There was this terrible incident at a Christmas page and one of some she bites. And now Seattle, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna crash out for the night, maybe sleep through tomorrow and get up when the sun goes down. That sounds like nice about now. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. Scary line night, for Manta needs her rest. And I won't get her depressed thoughts about the last mission where I got the worst possible ending. Where, sorry, where I chose the worst possible ending, but give me a break. It felt like the right one. Ractor, we're pretty much done with Ractor, aren't we? I think we're done. So, any new messages, by the way? What do you mean, problem solved? Uh, yeah, I did. You're welcome, by the way. Um... Open the jobs directory. Pending jobs? A restaurant job, apparently, whatever that means. Okay. Um, need to show low the error of his ways. Okay. 
We need to kidnap some person. Right, and there's the Talon person. Um, but of course, uh, yeah, let's just do it. Okay, back to root. Is there anything happening over here, by the way? No, we're pretty much done with the game. We're just wrapping things up and then going for it. This is going to be done, I don't know, this week or next week? Hopefully this week, but I don't know. I've been recording for, what, 10 minutes? So I'm probably going to go out on the mission today. I can finish it by tomorrow, then one more mission. I think it's going to be complete next week, unfortunately. Let's just assume I'm going to miss a day of recording because I, I keep having that problem these days. Let's look at drones. Full auto is out of my reach yet, but, 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 hold on. Um, I actually don't need that. I'm never going to use that. I have a bunch of advanced med kits, actually. Um, and I can throw in the thing it's going to replace. Seems pretty nice. I never use these stupid drugs. You can have them. Alright, here we go. Sell! Give me the full auto. Fully automatic weapon. Is that better than the semi auto turret? I have no idea. Let's just do it. Confirm. Yeah, boy! <laughs> oh, and there's this thing that I actually can't use. Maybe I should equip that, actually, for the sake of it, but probably not. <laughs> uh, nah, it requires close combat fire. I'm not even going to have enough karma by, by the end to get at that. Oh, well, let's at least have one more med kit. Confirm. You know who I should talk to? The magic shopkeeper. Maybe I should also see if there's a sh uh, magic thing I should want. Hmm, there's always this spell resistance or whatever that I could go for instead of body. We'll see. Crafty. There you go. That's her name. Hey, lady. Hmm. Anyone home? Oh, hey. Sorry about the mess. I was up all night reading, or rather, up every night reading. The dog tie, if you're alright. I've been better, if that's what you mean. Going through these notebooks has been hard, not just because of the sheer amount of information. It's been a nostalgic ride, too. Um, why don't you take a break, then? No way, I've dug myself too deep to back out now. And if I don't say that's a good thing. I've made progress, I'm proud of that. The sooner I figure out these dreams, the sooner I can rest. And trust me, simplicity, I'll make up for it in spades and naps. Just don't die. Let's encourage her, though. You sound like my grandparents when you talk like that. But hey, I appreciate the sentiment. And don't worry, it's not like total slug. These journals are just as exciting as they are laborious. Well, now, you're discovering something you like. So what's the latest? The latest. Hmm. Here we go. This one's loaded. Uh, with what? Got a couple of big finds. Mom's notes a mess. So I built them down to the most important information. An exorcism and the Yama Kings. Where do you want to start? Uh, exorcism, I suppose, one at a time. One of Mum's trips to the World City, she decided to check out an archway, an old crumbling relic that residents believed to be haunted. Mum wasn't sure about the hauntings, but the entering the area, she immediately felt that it was a place of concentrated chi. Uh, yeah, there's someone who... Yeah, I remember that. That was Isabel. I believe that. It's a fairly prominent landmark. Seems to be like most people from the World City would at least have heard of it, if not seen it. What did she say? Uh, superstitious dribble about spirits. I would be so quick to dismiss your friend's story. From what my mother wrote, it's clear the Ark wasn't just a skate. That was legitimately, well, bad. Okay, but I'm not dismissing it. She was. I was just transmitting the message. Um, go on. The chi was not, wasn't like a standard run-of-the-mill energy. It, even from Walt City, this chi was exceptionally dark, and it all seemed to gravitate toward the Ark. So she did what she, when he cook of her magic brand, would try a terrorist exorcism. 
Uh, how did that go? And what the hell? The exorcism failed, and something happened to her. She broke. Her mother had entered the city strong, confident and capable, but when she left that day... It's hard to explain. It's as if she... the experience left her vulnerable to those base horrors within the walled city. She grew paranoid and became frail of mind and body, a mere shadow of her former self. It's as if she'd witnessed something and it changed her. She became more obsessed than ever, and that's how I remember her now, that as that broken woman. I'm not sure how this fits into our investigation, but if that sort of matter violence is coursing through the world city, it's no wonder the people who live there experience such terrible dreams. So I'd like to know about the, about the Yama Kings then. Tell me, how much do you know about the Yama Kings? Um, I've read about around stories. Mainly from Isabel. Personally, I've, I'd only heard about the Yama Kings in fables and myths, things to scare children to sleep to inspire horror. As you can guess, intimate knowledge about imaginary beings is largely non existent, and here we find the demons of the walled city. Through my mother's excursions into the slum, she came to learn that its residents had their own unique Yama Kings, different from the traditional ones. The people here are segregated from the rest of Hong Kong. Over time, they came to believe that their home was possessed by local demons. Makes sense considering the place's penchant for crime and disaster. Yeah, I'll buy that. There were three that Mom knew of, Lam V, Fu Mang, and Chen Ya. Each Yama King is associated with a negative energy from which they feed. Lam V feeds in from cowards, Fu Mang from the guilty, and Chen Ya slaves. Unfortunately, my mother's handwriting declined with her sanity. She has lots of a lot of details in here about these local Yama Kings, but I could only make up bits and parts. Here's a list, something here about rules, or maybe laws of some sort. The thing that stood out to me is here. It's about the proprieties surrounding ownership in deals, exchanges, negotiations, luncheons. No, that last part can't be right. Anyway, it says the Lama Kings, on the rules of laws, must adhere to the terms of a deal. And there's something else, but... Nope, sorry, can't read that. Anything past that. You know, it's strange to me that Mom found these mystical beings significant enough to mention in her documents. It makes me wonder if she thought they were real or connected to the curse that she believed in. It's not the best lead, but I think it's a step in the right direction. Possibly. Do you have anything more? Do you think you can send me a copy? Are they step ahead of the view? I've just finished digitally transcribing the information. I'll send you a, um, as soon as I find my terminal. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Expect them soon. Uh, is there anything you have that I could want? Nothing that I can afford, it seems. Oh, that's cheap stuff, but yeah, who wants the cheap stuff, right? Dude, armor. I need way better armor. Oh, let's get back to it. I need way better armor and maybe cybernetics as well. So many things I could want. And we'll never have. Look at this drone! It's so big compared to the other thing. That's ridiculous. I wonder if Isabel now has anything to say. She might. She could. I mean, we've been looking into the whole thing with her. Hey, lady. Tiny lady. How are you doing? No, never mind. I don't. All right, well, let's go to the restaurant to do a thing. Restaurant, go. We're going here. I wonder if some of the shopkeeps that I never talked to would have had a uh, mission for me had I talked to them. You know, I don't, but maybe. You'd have to have another playthrough to know. Um, Shangri-La, right. The other one is the final mission. We're not ready for that. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Confirm. I didn't actually arrange their equipment. We'll see. How much time did that take me? 15 minutes, 20 more like. Yeah, that's okay. A tangle of marine decorum, restless lights and ambrosial scents mingled atop a floating quay to accent the Shangri-La, Aberdeen Harbour's premier dining location. With competitive views of the surrounding bay, the restaurant attracts a steady crowd of tourists and woogsing personnel. 
The primary money man for the T289s, a Shun Sing Roost, though, is enjoying a rare meal outside of Triad held territory. Intel says he's set up in one of the restaurant's private dining rooms, but he's not alone. Rooster keeps a personal bodyguard, a notorious orc called the Talon, in addition to his regular security detail. You've seen photos of the Talon's handiwork, bodies so battered it's hard to tell where one bruise ends and the next begins. Your mission, locate Rooster, extract him from the Shangri-La and deliver him to your client. Simple, fast, low profile. Of course even the simplest of runs can go sideways. Please don't mention it. Team, yo, your favorite item in the game is in your possession. That's the thing, marble. One round, it's it's amazing. Sure. I confirm. Game saved. Yay. Did I spend my, I don't think I spent my, oh yeah, I did. Because I couldn't have a class S otherwise. Hey guy, security guard, of course you're gonna let me pass. I didn't click on you, did I? Welcome to the Shangri La. We strive to provide our patrons with an exquisite dining experience. If you have any questions or require special accommodations, don't hesitate to speak with our staff. Uh, looks like I got my picks of tables. I'm sorry, but this is not a seat yourself establishment. If you'd like to choose where you sit, I suggest you make a reservation for one of the private rooms upstairs. Please keep in mind that any disturbances will be promptly de, de escalated by our security. We reserve the right to, to bar our service to unruly patrons. Thank you and enjoy your meal. Did you did you not like the amount of weapons on our per peep on our person's bodies? I don't see any guards around. <laughs> I think he's supposed to be a guard with the armor he's uh, wearing, but whatever. Wu Zing prides itself on having world-class security personnel. You'd do well to remember that the best kind of security is often hidden from sight. Pretty hard not to see that guy. <laughs> I would agree. Hi! The crab was truly amazing. Let's get out of their way. You're a waitress. Hello, person. Oh, welcome to the Shangri-La, sir. Our hostess will see you as soon as she gets back. You're welcome to wait in the lounge. Alright, thanks. So there's an objective here. We need to wait for the target. Somebody's late again. That's unfortunate. Is she is having a dinner right now? Hello, Henry. Chef Yan Lung. Hello? I clicked on you, pretty sure. Yeah, I'm not like I can dig myself when you do, per. It's a rough day. Mm hmm. Lost two contracts, Mr. Third. Loot for me time, probably shamed my co worker all during the 9 to 5. New record, as far as I can tell. At least I got that going for me. How'd you lose your contract? We wish I knew one of them was almost a done deal, but for some reason the client suddenly changed the tune. The contract slipped away before I could officially close it. All the two contracts were for ongoing clients, people I'd worked with for years. But I somehow forgot about the annual renewal day and more diligent co-worker picked them up. Got no credit for the long-term partnership with those clients. If anything, nah, I look worse for losing them, even though I brought them to the woozing in the first place. Think like someone's working against you, perhaps? You, you kidding me? I've ruined each other's throats. In this business, hmm. 
the newcomer David Ham. He came out of nowhere and has become a rock star with the offer management. He's been making connections and deals like a woozing veteran like me. That's odd. You telling me you want to know what I think? I think he's got family connections, people, high places, and he's been using them to his advantage. Well, I don't know, it's just a thought. Might be on something, guy. No, no, just wish for thinking. Well, I'm gonna find out. I guess I am? What? Why? That's the David person, eh? Maybe I get more karma out of it, that'd be nice. Hello, friend, trying to get in this new reality. Hey, you're welcome to join us for the next round. What are we celebrating? My recent successes! Through some hard work and a little business persuasion, I sealed two contracts and the third is on the way. Oh, well, I'll be. It's exactly the same contracts he lost. There's a natural ebb and flow within the business world. Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down. I've had an update. Oh, sorry to, to hear that Henry is down. Sounds like corporate rhetoric to me. <laughs> Excuse me, what are you implying? Mighty suspicious. Did Henry tell you I stole his contracts? That's illegal, you realize? He's just angry that he didn't have the wits or motivation to keep those clients under his payroll. I'm saying that. Bold, aren't you? Where's your proof? It's more of a feeling, really. You quit ruining my celebration and get out of here before I seek security on you. Hey, Symbolicity, these guys are right on the edge. Both blasted one pissed off. The other, well, an asshole. One where these guys will be throwing down. That happens loud enough. Security's bounders upon just a thought. Yeah, you know something about that, don't you? Not to be rude. But I think you kind of do. 